Hi people and welcome back to season 5. This is a new episode of course. Episode 109 I believe and last time we was messing around with the peat bog making it a little bit more automated. We could automate it further and make it more like complex and make it do stuff more easier for me but it's complex to make the system. But I think I'm going to leave it as it is. It's working pretty well at the moment. I actually made some minor modifications as well underneath because there was some a few bugs with the system but it's working okay it's not the greatest system but it's doing it's it's doing its job it's giving me the peak but that I need so anyway as I told you before I actually made a new template for a, a certificate house out here now for some reason it's messed up and wanted these slabs instead of actual bricks I'm not sure why but we'll see how this builds. I put all the stuff in. If we turn this on, this will get built. Uh, there we go. First of all, the little robot's got to clear out the area, and then it will build our house. So we've got our first testificate house in the desert, ready to be built. And we'll come back and check on this in a little while. Hopefully, this chunk won't unload. So some many of you may have seen my hey slime. The hell are you doing here? Get out of there. I actually need to make a new weapon. Oh man, these jumpy little s things. Why do you have to jump everywhere? Oh, I guess we need the slime balls eventually for found craft. So, yeah, as I was saying, you may have seen a mod video I did a couple of days ago called Bibliocraft. I've actually left it in for season five, so this is working here. So I'm going to actually use that to make some like nice armor stands and cool things like that in the future. Maybe if I'm going to make potions, I put them on the potion shelf. I mean, someone said it's not for storage as such, but it looks so cool. I like to store things in that looks really nice. So that's what it's for to make things look a bit more nicer. So I've added, actually left that in. Also, I've actually updated the portal gun mod just because it kept saying it needed updating. So I updated it. And also updated forestry, which is just like bug... bug ah, can't even speak. Bug fixes and things like that. And also got the new version of Mistcraft. Now, updating Mistcraft didn't cause my worlds to get deleted as such. But let me show you what did happen. It made my mining world unstable. So if I go through here to my Miscraft world. This wasn't the same colour sky as I had earlier. Last time I come here I had a green sky. Oh well. But it should, yeah it's got sun and a moon in the sky. It's very odd. <laughs> but this is the new Miscraft. And as you can see I've got weakness now. So this world is actually unstable. So we're going to actually have to move out of this world. And create a new more stable world. As well as find... Symbols that I haven't got. Now I've actually kept all the symbols I already got in my notebook, which is nice because finding all that stuff again is pretty annoying. You know, you remember how long it took me to get the bloody crystal symbol? Yeah. It took a long time. But we keep that. But for now, we are going to leave this quarry running because it's so. It's like a layered. What is that over there? Is that a chunk error or is that lava? Let's go and investigate. I think it's lava. Please don't send my jetpacks. Oh, it is going to run out, isn't it? I think this is lava down here. Good job it's actually overflowed. No, it's just a glitch. Ah, oh, I thought it was lava. Alright, let's get out of here. Don't want my jetpack to run out while I'm inside there. That would be pretty annoying to get back out again. So, yeah, there's actually new symbols to go and find. There's Mishcraft villages and villages and village buildings now. But to find them, I'm going to have to generate new chunks or visit new worlds. So, I might actually do that today. Go and visit a Mishcraft... Make a Mishcraft age with the villages symbol in. I'm going to probably make it flat so it's easy to find the villages. And maybe I put more than one villagers symbol in because if you put multiple, how do you get in here? God damn it, Turkey! These fences are to keep you out. I do not want you interfering in my train track. Also, I've, I've come 
I thought about some things. I do want to build another multi-block farm, as I said. Let's see how this is going. It's going pretty nice. Got lots of bog earth in there. Lots of hesky earth. Things are starting to come out the end here. So I kind of like want to make an entrance way to like farms and parks and a pathway. Have another farm here. Out here is going to be bees. I've, I've discussed this before. I'm sure I have. Just ignore me. <laughs> I'm blabbering on. So as I said, we've got bibliograss. Now the first thing I want to do with it is not change the stuff in this room as such, but change the stuff in this room here. As you see, you can only store one book per, like, what are these called? I don't even know what they I can't remember what they're called. Lecterns? Something like that. And I've got all these ages as well. But I could do some nice, like, bookcases. So, I might make a few bookcases for these. Now, the idea before was, like, the hall of the failed ages. This is going to be my hall. I'm not going to make a separate building. Because, why not? In fact, let me show you some miscraft stuff we've got on our notebook. Can't even put that back in now. Oh man. But let me show you. Right, let me show you this. Look at all these. Wow, double length. Hey, right, don't take double length. What does double length do? Who knows? Why is an ice cream man coming in the middle of my video? Answer the postcard. Let's see, we've got half length. I think we've got most of the symbols already. <laughs> It kind of had to look. So to make new ages, I think you've got to put a descriptive book in there and you drag the pages over now. I think that's how it works. But if it doesn't, I have no idea. So these are the bookcases I'm going to use for the books. I'm probably going to alternate between spruce and birch because I kind of like the contrast between like... That reminds me of chocolate ice cream and that reminds me of like vanilla ice cream. But that doesn't really remind me of strawberry ice cream. And that just reminds me of nub. Just normal plain nub. There we go. We have some recipes there. So, do I actually have spruce wood and birch wood? That is a question that I should be able to answer very shortly here. Let's check it out. I have... Nothing in here. Well, I might have some stuff back in our other place. Why is the descriptive book 62 here? I'm uh, not sure. I'm not sure why descriptive book 62 is here. But I'm sure I'm going to put it back into the chest. Descriptive book 62. Go in there. Alright, so let's go and check out... The variety of wood I have stored. Of course, I need to repair my jetpack as well because. Well, I don't actually need to repair it, I need to <laughs> recharge it. Because I always forget to do it at the beginning of the episode. I usually do it at the beginning of the episode. I used to always do it and then I keep forgetting. But I'm a plonker. And I am a nub sometimes. But everyone has their nub moments. I just have more than usual. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's have a look here. Yeah, we do have the variety of wood I require. Mr. Deer, please be quiet because you're not welcome. Go and find the milkman if you want some loving. Milkman. Alright, so let's get a stack of birch wood and a stack of spruce wood and to make these I'm gonna make two lots of the bookcases so we're gonna need some half slabs yeah make I'll make these spare blocks into half slabs go like that and like that give me a couple of bookcases let's get free stick those back into this storage area and uh, we're going to need to make some more half slabs for these as well. Nope. We do not want to make more half slabs, Spruce Wood. We want to make some nice vanilla ice cream bookcases. Ah, what are you doing? I didn't put the wood in, did I? What a... What a peat. 
What a Pete. Two more of those. Thank you very much. Mind if I do? And can we stick the cobblestone back in? Why have I got copper here? Who knows? Oh well. I'm going to use this to put the copper back in. There you go. Okay. So we have our bookcases from Bibliograft, the new mod I've installed. Of course, you can always check out the mod video to see what other stuff this mod involves. Pretty nice. So one thing's for sure, it's going to be annoying to pick up all these books. Yeah. Break that, break that, break that. Pick up the book. Pick up the book. Age 2 and 3. And that's age 1. Okay. So I think we should have spruce here. And Nilla there. And our first one is going to have all the early ages. One, two, and three. Four. Five. Six. All go in there. We're going to actually leave gaps for ages we never got. That's seven. That's eight. There's nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, that's the wrong bookcase. Volume eleven, yes. Volume eleven of Pete's ventures into the the rubbishness that is. What's this thirteen? Fourteen. Just transfer all these over. Ah, why is thirteen in here? No, thirteen and fourteen go in there. I believe we don't have an age fifteen or sixteen. I'm not sure. What's this one? Seventeen. So fifteen, sixteen will go there. That bookcase is going to be incomplete. Seven and eighteen there. So 19 and 20, yep. 1920. 21. 22. See, look at this bookcase, it looks really nice. Look at that storage. How compact for the books is the storage? It's really nice. 23 and 24. Did I get a 22? Yeah, I did. 23. 24. And we're going to take all these down as well. 25 and 26. I know this is a bit tedious, moving me moving all these over, but it's worth it. Look at this. Alright, we're going to take out all this stuff. We do not need these lectins anymore. Now, this room looks even more empty than it was before. But maybe you could actually do, add some decor down here at some point. I know that the ceiling's only one block high, but as we, when I built this, I didn't have micro blocks. But now I've got micro blocks. I could do like half slab for for the bottom, for the roof of the room below, and half slab for up here for the carpet of this room. Because micro blocks make things look so nice. All right, we've got a load more books. Bloody hell! I guess we can do this all at the same time here. Eh? All right, so we've got 27, 28, 29, no, not 34, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 6, 47, got loads, 52, 54, 62. So 43. 748. 4950. 54. 55. 56. 59. Wow. That's 56. 57. 58. 59. There's no 60. There's a stable book. I guess that's for another stable world. 
I can count that as 60. 62. So there's going to be some gaps because of the missing ages, but look at all that room I condensed into these two bookcases. In fact, I could make this not just the Hall of the Failed Ages because we're not going to ever fill up this back wall of bookcases. So I could actually put some armor sets in here as well and some display cases for weapons that are cool and tools that are cool that I never use and tool racks, good things like that. Things that are used in bibliograft, so... Should I keep that there? Yeah, I'll keep that there for now. Maybe I'll move this writing desk. Oh no. So what's the mid... I want to put the writing desk in the middle of this wall, so how long is this wall? 3, 4, 5, 6... 9, 10, 11. So, middle would be blocks. Block 6. Uh, if this was even, it would make it easier. But, I guess not. How do I make this back again? Writing desk. Ah, not like that. Can I not do it sideways like this? There we go. So we could have bookcases all around this writing desk in here. Some more bookcases there. Awesome. Facts. I should not count this. One, two, three. I should move the writing desk one more to the left. Like that. No, that's not. It's too far. Too far. Yeah. Like that. Because you can't put bookcases where there's fiber optic cable, can you? Awesome. And this chest, no longer needed. What's that book? That book is an old Lincoln book. You can fill in one of the gaps. Fill in a gap there, sweet. And uh, let's store our notebook again. Yeah, sweet. I'm liking how this is going. Now, do I have armor or stuff that I want to display that I'm not going to use? I mean, we got our old pickaxe here. That's a pretty decent pickaxe. I could either repair at some point or modify and add, try and add fortune to. I would kind of like a full set of chain armor to put on a stand as well. We've almost got a full set of golden stuff. We don't have the. <laughs> Boots, though. But we can make some boots, I guess. Or long food boots could probably go in there. We've got nano suit boots, our spare set, that could be used for something. And we've also got these steel leaf sets as well. So I might actually make an armor stand for the steel leaf set and the golden set. So how do I make the armor stand? I think it's stone slabs at the bottom, if I remember, and art and... In the middle, we have iron. Yeah, we do. So we need some stone to get some stone slabs. In fact, we only need two dots anyway. Stone and iron. Okay. Nice. And iron. Where's my iron? I need two more bits in there. Two armor stands, sweet. And they're actually stuck in the inventory. I didn't think they would. That is pretty nice. Let's put that back. Some of this stuff really needs to be put back into the system. I'm just uh, too lazy to do it myself. Stone, you can go back. Where are you? All right, let's sort out our armor stand. We need to make them gold boots as well to complete that set. Need four ingots. There we go. Let's make some boots. I'm not going to enchant them like the rest are, but it's going to look pretty nice. So let's go to our house. Let's make some improvements to our house, actually, which is strange. I never really work on this. But armor stands. Now, where do I want to put the armor? Of course, we can have bookcases back there. Maybe this could be the armor back wall. I mean, we're not going to have many armor stands, so put one here. One here for now. Put the. Why have I got that in there? Oh, that's what I'm wearing currently. So you could actually take it off your person and put it straight in the armor stand. 
That's pretty cool. Once I've done this, I'm going to end the episode, but... Let's put the steel leaf set in there. We've got boots, legs, chest plate, helm. And for the golden armor, I'm going to put that in, that in, and that in. In fact, we actually got a chain helm. We need to chain chest plate and chain boots. Oh, we actually had some golden boots. Ah, oh, screw the other golden boots I just made. Maybe it's got... Ah, oh, I had enchant a full enchanted set. Ah, oh, I didn't notice the boots. People probably yelling me in comments as usual, but screw it, really. All right, golden boots, you're not welcome anymore. We have these. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, they actually shine as well on the stand. That is pretty nice. Of course, I got this golden set from Infernal Mobs. Let's stick that in. Hell yeah, we've got a steel leaf set and a golden set sitting right there. Looking pretty nice. And it takes some heat off our chest storage. And gives us our little room here. Looking awesome. Yes. I like it. Bibliocraft. Great job. If that mod developer ever watches this, I love you. So is there any more stuff I could put in that important tools? Uh... I don't know, really. As I said, though, I do... Ah, oh, come on. I don't want to click on the bloody book every time. Let's sort this out. that do. So, is there any of my armor sets? I mean, I could put some of these tools in a tool rack or... Good things like that down there. Or display cases, if they're, like, super good stuff. Like, what would I put in this... Like, this katana that I got from one of the Ninja Turtles could put that in the display case, because that is kind of a good thing. I could put a crowbar on a tall rack. I don't really use that. Same way I draw on chainsaw. I put that down there. I think I... Yeah, I could put a handsaw that I don't use. You know, various stuff that I could put down there. But I think I'm going to end the episode here today. You know, you kind of know where I'm thinking. In fact, let's not end the episode. Let's see what's happening in the desert before I finish here. See if this house is complete. Ooh, a new desert house. I told you I made one. Let's go inside. Looking good. Looking deserty. This is the materials I decided. I have no idea where it uses slabs instead of bricks. I use bricks in the design, but we have some sand left. Awesome. Let's turn this off. I'm going to need to repair the path. But do I actually have the gravel on me to do that? I actually have it. Repair the path. So another house and testificate lane. But there's no one living in it. And it's kind of <laughs> into the side of the mountain here. But I might actually put some decoration in each of the houses after building them. Because they are kind of bland. They're just like an open, almost square house. But... I didn't want to pull it into the actual template because you would actually have to have the materials every time you make the house. But anyway, that, I'm going to end the episode now. We have built our new test of get house. And we've done a bit of bibliocraft to our basement. Moved the books around. Done some armor stands. Good stuff like that. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.